It's 50 years since the first black and Asian recruits joined the police in the West Midlands. Half a century on and the force admits it's still a struggle to attract candidates from ethnic minority backgrounds. Our special correspondent Peter Wilson has been talking to the force and the country's very first Asian police officer, plus one of its most recent recruits. The past meets the present. Joe Dar was the first Asian officer to join the British police 50 years ago. He's back out again on the front line with PC Kieran Patel, one of the latest recruits to join West Midlands Police. Things were simple. Uh, obviously, we didn't have all the new modern gadgets that you have got. I guess times have changed from then as well because yes. now we're looking more so at threat, risk, harm. In March 1966, Mohammed Yusuf Dar made front page news as the first Muslim officer went on patrol in Coventry. Just 9% of the force comes from a minority ethnic background, but 30% of the population of the West Midlands are either black or Asian. As a member of society, I want to have an impact, um, and as a British Asian, uh, I want to break the barriers, um, forget being uh, a doctor, a lawyer, and break those typical traditions. Chief Superintendent Matt Ward is the highest ranking black officer in the force. He admits that until recently, the force simply didn't try hard enough to attract black and Asian officers. Over the past 12 months, I've seen a real renewed focus, effort, determination and commitment to make sure that West Midlands Police is as representative of the communities that we serve as we possibly can be. The chief officers at West Midlands Police may include women, a big change from 50 years ago, but the top team have no black or Asian faces. Today, Joe is still proud of his time in the police, but 50 years on, the force still has to win the trust of black and Asian communities. Peter Wilson, BBC Midlands Today, Coventry.